The Herzegovina uprising of 1875-77 was an uprising led by ethnic Serbs against the Ottoman Empire, firstly and predominantly in Herzegovina, from where it spread into Bosnia. It is the most significant of the rebellions against Ottoman rule in Herzegovina. The uprising was precipitated by the harsh treatment under the Bazanagas of the Ottoman province of Bosnia, the reforms announced by the Turkish Sultan Abdum Said I, involving new rights for Christian subjects, a new basis for army conscription, and an end to the much-hated system of tax farming, were either resisted or ignored by the powerful Bosniak landowners. They frequently resorted to more repressive measures against their Christian subjects. The tax burden on Christian peasants constantly increased. The rebels were aided with weapons and volunteers from the principalities of Montenegro and Serbia, whose governments eventually jointly declared war on the Ottomans on 18 June 1876, leading to the Serbo-Turkish War and Montenegrin-Ottoman War, which in turn led to the Russo-Turkish War and Great Eastern Crisis. A result of the uprisings and wars was the Berlin Congress in 1878, which gave Montenegro and Serbia independence and more territory, while Austro-Hungary occupied Bosnia and Herzegovina for 30 years, although it remained a jury Ottoman territory. Background History of Bosnia and Herzegovina Bosnia Islet Herzegovina Islet Serbian Revolution 19th century events in Bosnia and Herzegovina Bosnian Uprising Herzegovina Uprising PCA's First Revolt Preparations In Herzegovina the leaders of the people of Herzegovina, Jorvan Gutik, Simun Zechevic, Ilya Stefanovic, Trivko Grubasic, Prodan Rupar and Peter Radovic, at the end of August and beginning of September 1874, met and decided to start preparing a rebellion. They conclude with preparing weapons and ammunition, safe places for people, assistance of Montenegro in the uprising, concluding that the uprising is to break out in spring 1875. The group entered in talks with Nikola I. Petrovich but he was not willing to break and risk the unreadiness of Russia in its war with the Ottomans. The preparations continued, and in Bilika and Trebunj region, Serdar Tador Majisic, Gligor Milicevic, Vasilj Svorkin and Sava Jaksic lead the revolt in these regions. The Ottomans hear of the talks between Nikola I and tries to capture the ringleaders. They however flee into Montenegro in the winter of 1874. In 1875, Austria is drawn in, and with its interests in Bosnia and Herzegovina, they seek from the Ottomans to give the ringleaders amnesty. The pressured Ottomans join in discussion with Austria. In Bosnia the preparations start somewhat later than the Herzegovinian and did not manage to coordinate actions of the two regions. In the preparations of Vaso Vidovic, Simo and Jova Bilbia, Spazo Ye Barbic and Vasa Pelagic. The plans began with firstly liberating the villages of Kozara, Prasara and Motagica, then attack communications and block the cities of the Sava River, later to take over Banya Luka. The start of the uprising was envisaged on August 18, 1875. The Ottomans imprisoned priests in Prijedor, which put further pressure on the people. Therefore villages from Vorista, Site Luka, Petrinj, Bakvani. Pobridani and Tavia attacked the Turks in Vorista on August 15. The uprising sparks wide, and the leader of the uprising is chosen to be Ostoja Kormanos. Uprising in Herzegovina, never singe the leader's return in 1875 and continue their plans on revolt. The plan seeks liberation of never singe region, then expansion on the rest of Herzegovina. In the meantime, Turks seek Hajduk Para Tunguz, who on July 5 had attacked a caravan on the Bizini mountain. On July 9, the Turks start a conflict with the armed villages of Jorvan Gutik on the Gradek Hill north of Krekova. This conflict would be known as Never Singe Skapuska and mark the beginning of the uprising in all of Herzegovina. Firstly Never Singe, Ilika and Starlak were involved, then in August Gako and the frontier towards Montenegro. 
Seta of 50 to 300 people and bands of 500 minus 2,000 people gather and attack Ottoman border posts and bay towers. The Ottomans had four battalions of regular army with a total of 1,800 soldiers, situated in Mostar, Trebinj, Niksic, Focha and the border posts. Also a larger number of base of bazooka present all over the province. The Ottoman troops are commanded by Selim Pasha who in turn is under Dervish Pasha, the commander of the Bosnia Vilaya. After the outbreak of the uprising, the Turks try to gain time by starting negotiations while reinforcements arrive. The rebels wanted lower taxes, which the Turks refused, and the fighting continues. In August, 4,000 Nizami arrive from Bosnia, and later form more battalions by sea through Klek in Trebinj. The rebels had by July and August destroyed the majority of border posts and besieged Trebinj in August 5. The Turks regained Trebinj by August 30. In the end of August, fights break out in Bosnia, and Serbia and Montenegro promise aid, sparking an intensification of the uprising. Prince Nikola St. Peter Vukotic, while a large number of Montenegrin volunteers arrived at the command of Piko Pavlovich. The Serbian government dared not to publicly assist because of international pressure, but secretly sent Miko Lubobratic among others. There was a conflict between the rebels because of disagreement between the representatives of the Montenegrin and Serbian governments causing failures in the ongoing uprising. Uprising in Bosnia. Resovis and GRMEC, in West Bosnia. The troops were under the leadership of well-known Golub Barbic, Marinkovic, Simo Davidovic, Pope Karin, and Trifko Milik. The Serb Colonel Despotovic held supreme leadership and had formed eight battalions out of the scattered bands. Vukjak, in East Bosnia. Pasti Ruvo and Kozara, in North Bosnia. The bands were led by Marko Genader, Ostoja, Spasijevic, Marko Bajalika, Igumen Hadzik, and Pope Stevo. The new camp of Brezovac, not far from Novi, was held by Ostoja of Novis. The former camp of Karadord Yavici in Korkovac was held by Ilyasevic. The aim of the bands was to prevent any greater concentration of Turkish troops on the Drina, on the western frontier of Serbia, as a systemically organized insurrection in Bosnia is of no possibility. The rebels pursue and drive back the Muslim population into their towns. The bands protect and help the exiles hiding in the woods, unarmed men, women, and children to reach the frontier of Austria or Serbia through safe conduct. According to Mackenzie and Irby who travelled the region in 1877, the state of the common Christian people was serious, and the number of fugitives exceeded 200,000 all round the frontier by January 1877. The rebels in South Bosnia had cleared the region of Turks presently under the command of Despotovic. Between the Austrian frontier and the Turkish fortresses of Kilin Vakup, KLJUC, and Glamuk. In August 1877, all Bosnian Muslims men from 15 to 70 were ordered to fight, although there was already 54 battalions, each with 400 to 700 men. Battle of Sedlo. Aftermath. The unrest rapidly spread among the Christian populations of the other Ottoman provinces in the Balkans setting off what would become known as the Great Eastern Crisis. The atrocities of the Ottoman Empire in suppressing unrest in the Balkan provinces eventually led to the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-78 which ended in Turkish defeat, and the signing of the Treaty of San Stefano in March 1878, followed in July of the same year by the Treaty of Berlin, severely reducing Ottoman territories and power in Europe. The Congress of Berlin decided that Bosnia and Herzegovina, while remaining nominally under Turkish sovereignty, would be governed by Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary annexed Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1908. The occupation and annexation enraged Serbian nationalists and was a catalyst for the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria by the Bosnian Serb nationalist Gavrilo Princip. Legacy
The Neversind municipality has a coat of arms with two rifles, symbolizing the revolt. The government of Republica SRPSKA together with the Neversinge municipality annually organizes the anniversary of the revolt. In 1963, a Yugoslav film by Zika Mitrovic about the Neversinge rebellion was released, titled in Serbo-Croatian as Neversinge Skapuska and in English as Thundering Mountains. Jorvan Bratic, a comic artist from Neversinj, made a cartoon series on the Herzegovina uprising, titled Neversinj Skapuska. The first part released in 2008, and the second part Neversinj Skapuska 2. Bitkernal Vuk Jemdolu.